What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game online card opening series. So in the last episode we pulled, we pulled, I know we pulled a duplicate EX card and that was Mega Blastoids I do believe. And we pulled a few other cards as well, probably that was, um, the EX card was probably of most mention. So anyway, oh, um, actually I'm sorry I didn't actually look at the um, collection and see what I was missing. I'm sorry, I actually said I was going to do that off screen but I never did it. Oopsie, so I'm going to have to do it before I do the next episode, so um, we're going to have to go to the whims here and just assume we've got some missing. Alright, so let's open up some packs. I feel quite bad now. I did Oh, sweet. Oh, well. Oh, actually I didn't want to know that. Lucky I didn't look. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got Pikachu, Venipede, Electric Energy, Zora, Voltorb, Professor Sakamore, Double Colorous Energy, Gerda, Diglett, Reverse Hello, and of course my favourite water type, Greninja. Um, hint, um, did anyone hint the sarcasm in the word favourite? Uh, Greninja's my least favourite water type at the moment. So overused. <laughs> Once he's died down in overuse, I probably will like him a bit more. But anyways, um, Phantom, Weedle, Steel Energy, Pansage, Water Energy, Cassius, Muscle Band, Soul Rock, Blade Form in Reverse Holo for Aggie Slash, and another Furfuru as a Holo. Nice. I want to use as many Furfurus as I can in my Colorous Energy deck, or Colorous deck when I make one. I am so using a colorless deck with all the double colorless energy cards I have. I don't care if the opponent's got a counter for special energy cards. Um, next up is Jigglypuff, Shelter, Pansage, Scatterbug, Weedle, Max Revive, Herdia, Fletch Tinder, Gorogus as a Reverse Holo, and a Dugtrio as our rare. Alright, so next up we've got Rhyhorn, Shelter, Inkay, Ekans, Pansia. Um, Solrock, Lunatone, sweet! It's not very often you pull the, both of them at the same time, one counterpart to the other. Um, Inkay, Aggie Slash as Reverse Holo in a Shield form, and Slurpuff Holo as the rare, sweet. Alright, so next up we're getting, yes! Um, we're getting Inkay, Zora, Psychic Energy, Ekin, Staryu, Dodrio, Team Rock, uh, Team. Right, I wish it was Team Rocket. Team Rocket's just awesome. Um, Team Flare, Grunt. Electrode, Jigglypuff, Reverse Holo, and another Furfru Holo. Sweet, I just pulled two in one episode. Sweet, let's keep going with the Furfrus. I so want to use them. That ability. That. Uh, wow, who is that? Uh, we have um, Fire Energy, Jigglypuff, Weedle, Slugma, Spire, Fairy Energy, Hard Charm, Cassius, Super Potion. Sweet, we got another Stadium card and a Trainer card. Um, Shadow Circle. Sweet, that's what I needed, and and uh, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I'm quickly leaving just to see who that card is, because I don't remember that in the deck, and I don't remember anyone evolving into that. So I have no freaking idea who it's called. I know it's Fire Energy. Let's filter it down more. It's Delphox! Wow! Um, I didn't see that, to be honest. I thought it looked like a Charmeleon Tail when I looked at it, but... It's, Sweet, Delphox. I like Delphox. Um, actually, Fennekin was my favourite starter. I started with Fennekin only because of Delphox. I thought it, it was pretty cool when I first saw the reveal for that. Um, 140 health is a fire card. Ability is Mystical Fire, which is actually one of its moves in um, the game. Once during your turn before you attack, you may draw cards until you have six in your hand. That's actually a pretty good support card, too. And its move is Blaze Ball, deals 50 plus damage, requires 3 of any energy card. This attack does 20 more damage to its fire energy card attached to this Pokemon. Nice! That could actually work in my fire deck, to be honest. I may think about that one, because I quite like its ability, too. Um, so if you're constantly using cards, you can use Mystical Fire, kick cards back into your hand. Yeah, that could actually work. I'm... If... Actually, I've got the entire line. I was just thinking that, actually. I don't have Delphox. Sweet, so that may be possible to use now. I may actually think of a way of using that and then utilizing it in the battle. I'll get back to you guys on that one. Alright, <sighs> damn it. We still have no go go. Um, Fennekin, Froakie, Electric Energy, Shelter, Pikachu, Delcaddy, Mr. Mime, Muscle Band, Skitty, uh, not Skitty, Skiddo, as a Reverse Holo and a Dog Trio. I still need go go. Where is go go? Ah, sweetness. Okay, that's a bit better than go go, I will admit. Psychic Energy, Venipede, Darkness Energy, Phantom, Scatterbug, Shadow Circle, Illuminous, Spupa, Reverse Holo, um, Professor's Letter, and Ivantal EX. So I did say in the last episode that was a card I needed. I 
On well, then again, who knew when it was gonna pop up? I didn't think it was gonna pop up this quickly. Nice. So I got all the advanced cards except for Reverse Hollow. Um, advanced EX, 170 health as a dark card. Now I never, I actually have this card. Now I know where I read the um, text details from. Same moves as the full art. It's got Evil Ball, which deals 20 plus damage, requires one dark energy, and, and one energy card of any type. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon, um, that includes your active Pokemon, which in this case will be Avantal EX, and the defending Pokemon on your opponent's side. And its last move is Y Cyclone, deals 90 damage, requires one dark energy card, and two energy cards of any type. Move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. So I'll just quickly bring up the full art. Exactly the same moves, but I probably would use the full art just to troll. But if you do use the full art, you well actually both do the same thing. If you lose an EX card, the opponent has to draw two cards, or uh, two prize cards instead of one, which is the normal rule, which can be a bit of a bummer. You can actually lose the um card, the game because of that. All right, so anyways, we got Rhyhorn, Timber, Fire Energy, Froakie, Shoulder, Gerda, Rainbow Energy. Nice during these. I'm tempted to use them. Um, I have a bit of a strategy in mind to counteract that secondary effect. But anyways, we have Dunsparce, Lady Bar, Reverse Hollow, and a Simi Sage as the rare, which I didn't have, believe it or not. Sweet. <coughs> All right, so this one we have Swirlix, Pernia, Jigglypuff, Lillipup, Slugma. Team Flag Runs, Shauna, Dewblade, Professor's Letter Reverse Holo, and a Taurus as the rare. I keep drawing the trainers that I have as Reverse Holo, it's not the ones I don't have, which... Oh, okay. Nice, thank you Lady Luck. Pikachu, Taylor, Slugma, Water Energy, uh, Hone Edge, Dunsparce, Max Revive, Kakuna, Great Ball Reverse Holo, and an Aggie Slash, uh, damn it, Blade Form as the rare. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, thank you Lady Luck. Um, still energy, Bunnel by, Bunnel B, sorry, Zora, Fighting Energy, Dark Energy, here we go again, Fairy Garden, Sableye, Herdia, Electro Diverse Hollow, and a Blastoids Full Art EX. Again, I actually did mention I was going to try and use Sableye, I may try and fit him into my Dark Deck as well. He may not fit in because the deck kind of doesn't need that much of a modification now since I've done my recent modification, I still need to add that Stadium card though. Um, Skinny, Taylor, Shelter, Froakie, Electric Energy, Volbeat, Mr. Mime, Great Ball, Star U, Reverse Hollow, another Crocodile. And as I said, it's not as good as the Crocodile in my current Dark Deck. Alright, so next up we're getting. Sweet, I just mentioned that quite a, a couple of minutes ago actually. Beedoof, Lillipop, Pumpkaboo, Still Energy, Lady Bar, Team Flare, Grunt, Sableye, Ledian, Reverse Hollow, Evantal, and Malamas. So I do believe now I have all the Evantals. I don't have the Hollow Avantal, that's the only one I'm missing. So there's Reverse Hollow, there's the normal card, there's the EX card, which you can get from the tin as well, and Avantal EX Full Art. So if you got the theme deck for um, Avantal, which is the current X and Y theme deck, you'll get the Hollow Avantal, and that would complete off the Avantal cards, which should be really cool to be honest. I now need to get that theme deck, it's a must now. I'm going to open up one more, just looking at the time, and we're going to get Skiddo, still no Go-Go, Phantom, Fennekin, Spoink, Chespin, Illuminous, Delcaddy, Quilladden, Dugtrio, Reverse Hollow, and a Simipore as our rare, so I'm pretty sure now we've got all the three elemental monkeys as the rares. Alright, so quickly just going through the deck, I think Evantal EX was the rare, excluding the duplicate Blastoids EX full art I got. And I'll quickly have a look at the Frick, I do want to do that. Um, Simi Sage, Simi Poor. Hold on, I didn't see Simi Seer. Yes, I do have it. I have it as a reverse hello too, just to troll. Uh, of course I got that, that, but the other two I don't. Just only just got them. Oh well, can't whinge, I got them now. Um, also, I forgot to mention this. I love the artwork from Meta Mega Blastoids EX. I don't care how freaking OP its health is and its move is. Um, I do love the Mega Evolution rule though, it kind of counteracts how strong this card is. But the artwork's freaking awesome. I wish they kind of had that for a lot of the X cards. Or just something to emphasize that raw, that power, that oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kroninja. I'm going to have a look at it just to see if it is as powerful as it is in the game. 130 health, that's pretty standard for a stage 2 poke. Water energy, a uh, water card, abilities, water shuriken. Once during your turn before you take your mage, discard a water energy card from your hand. If you do, put three damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. 
Now that can be handy if the opponent's just switched out or retreated a Pokemon and it's just near from fainting and they want to try and heal it, use Water Shield can take out that Pokemon, grab a prize card. Its move is Mist Slash, 50 damage quite. Really? One Water Energy card? This attack's damage isn't affected by what weakness resistance or any other effects on your Pokemon's active po opponent's active Pokemon. Are you serious? One water energy card for a stage 2. Usually stage 2's need about 4 energy cards to pull off a move. That's a little bit insane. What? Frogadier, 2 energy cards needed. Uh, that's for Lick. I, that's the only Frogadier card I'm well aware of and found. So really, you only need 2 energy cards on this Pokemon. Are you for real? Okay, I don't like Greninja now. I seriously don't. Usually stage 2's, as I said, need 4 or 5 at little three to pull off a move. Not one energy card. Okay, I'm a bit furious. I don't want to see Greninja in an actual thing because I swear to God I will annihilate that little bitch. Ugh. Damn it. Ugh. I now hate Greninja even more. Ugh. Then again, you need quite a few energy cards to pull off that water sugar can move, but who gives a fuck unless when you've got that other move? That doesn't apply weakness or resistance either. Uh, Alright, I'm going to forget I read that card. I'm going to wipe that card from memory too. Um, that seems to be all the cards too. I'm going to have a look at Trainer. Um, I'm just going to have a look at Unknown. Sweet, we're only missing five Reverse Hollows now from this, plus the one energy card from here as well, which I haven't picked up yet, which is quite annoying. So once I get that and the five from the trainer, that's, well, one quarter of the done thing done. But yeah, um, but that's it for this episode. I hate to say it, so I'm going to get a pack, show orange, untick that. Alright, so next episode we'll open, continue opening up the X and Y booster packs. We've done pretty well, actually. We've gone through nearly, well, we've gone through nearly half of the cards I had. And I will do what I said I would do last episode off screen, which was have a look at the collection, see what I'm missing from the Pokemon side, and see how exactly how many I'm missing. So until the next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!